Hey, 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 Francis Juanita Waterman. And I love to read the Bible daily. And I like to listen to it being read to me daily, too. So I'm making these mostly for myself so I can listen to can listen to um, this uh, version of the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Um, what they've done is the King James goes to uh, the Latin translation. It comes from that. This goes straight to the Hebrew and Greek scriptures and translates from there, putting it into modern day language because language has changed over time. And things that meant one thing at one time don't mean that same thing today. And we're finding that over and over with my generation. When we hear a word, sometimes we are shocked and offended because we don't know that today that word doesn't mean the same thing that it meant when we were growing up. So a lot of things have changed. So I'm just going to um, read the Bible and so I can listen to it every day myself. So this is the only time I will do an introduction and the rest of the time I'll just be reading the Bible. I really do want to start with Matthew because um, I like starting with the Gospels and then I'll read the Hebrews. <laughs> it's going to take me a year, but if I do a ch three chapters a day, I'll be there in no time. I think I'll just do a chapter per video, though. The book of the history of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham became father to Isaac. Isaac became father to Jacob. Jacob became father to Judah and his brothers. And Judah became father to Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez, Perez became father to Hezron. Hezron became father to Ram. Ram became father to Amminadab. Amminadab became father to Nashon. Nashon became father to Solomon. Solomon became father to Boaz by Rahab. Ra Boaz became father to Obed by Ruth. Obed became father to Jesse. Jesse became father to David the king. David became father to Solomon. And by the, by the wife of Uriah, Solomon became father to Rehoboam. Rehoboam became father to Abijah. Abijah became father to Asa, and Asa became father to Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat became father to Jehoram, and Jehoram became father to Uzziah, and Uzziah became father to Jotham. Jotham became father to Ahaz, and Ahaz became father to Hezekiah. Hezekiah became father to Manasseh, Manasseh became father to Amon, Amon became father to Josiah, and Josiah became father to Jeconiah and to his brothers at the time of the deportation to Babylon. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah became father to Sheeltiel. Sheeltiel became father to Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel became father to Abud. Abid Biad became father to Elikam. Eliakim became father to Azor. Azor became father to Zadok. Zadok became father to Achim, and Achim became father to Elid. Elid became father to Eleazar. Eleazar became father to Mathan. Mathan became father to Jacob. And Jacob became father to Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who was called Christ. All the generations then from Abraham until David were 14 generations. From David until the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the deportation to Babylon until the Christ, 14 generations. But this is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. During the time his mother Mary was promised in marriage to Joseph, she was found to be pregnant by Holy Spirit before they were united. However, because her husband Joseph was righteous and did not want to make a public spectacle, he intended to divorce her secretly. But after he thought these things over, look, Jehovah's angel appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take your wife Mary home, for what <coughs> has been conceived in her is Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this actually came about to fulfill which was spoken by Jehovah through his prophet, saying, Look, the virgin will become pregnant and will give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, which means, when translated, God is with us. Isaiah 8, 8 through 10. Then Joseph woke up from his sleep, and he did as the angel of Jehovah had directed him. And he looked, took his wife home, but he did not have sexual relations with her until she gave birth to a son, and he, and he named him Jesus. Chapter 2 After Jesus had been born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, look, astrologers from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the one born, king of the Jews? For we saw his star when we were in the east, and we have come to do obeisance to him. 
At hearing this, King Herod was agitated, and all Jerusalem with him. On gathering together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem. of Judea, for this is how it was has been written through the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, of the land of Judea, are by no means the most significant city among the governors of Judah. For out of you will come a, gover come a governing one who will shepherd my people Israel. It's in 2 Samuel 5.2 and Micah 5.2. When Herod secretly summoned the astrologers and carefully ascertained from them the time of the stars appearing, when sending them to Bethlehem, he said, Go make a careful search of the young child, and when you have found him, report back to me so that I too may go and do obeisance to him. After they heard the king, they went their way and looked. The star that they had seen when they were in the east went ahead of them until it came to a stop above where the young child was. On seeing the star, they rejoiced with great joy. And when they went into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and falling down, they did obeisance to him. They also opened their treasures and presented him with gifts, gold and frankincense, frankincense and myrrh. However, because they were given divine warning in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. After they had departed, look, Jehovah's angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Get up and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt and stay there until I give you word, for Herod is about to search for young children to kill him. So Joseph got up by night and took along the young child and the child's mother and went into Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod. This fulfilled what was spoken by Jehovah through his prophets, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. And that's in Hosea 11.1. 1. When Herod, Herod, seeing that he had been outwitted by the astrologers, flew into a great rage, and he sent out and had all the boys in Bethlehem and in all its districts killed from two years of age and under, according to the time that he had carefully ascertained from the astrologers. When then was fulfilled... What was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet who said, A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and much wailing. It was Rachel weeping for her children, and she was willing to take comfort because they were unwilling to take comfort because they were no more. And that is in Jeremiah thirty one fifteen. When Herod had died, look, Jehovah's angel appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For those who were seeking the life seeking the life of the young child, are dead. So he got up and took the young child and the child's mother and entered into the land of Israel. But hearing that Archelaus ruled Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Moreover, being given divine warning in a dream, he withdrew into the territory of Galilee. And he came and settled in a city named Nazareth in order to fill what was spoken through the prophets. He will be called a Nazarene. And that's in Isaiah 11, 1, Isaiah 53, 2, Jeremiah 25, 23, 5, and Zechariah 3, 8. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching. Okay, I, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do three and another one.